Hey guys, what's up? Serge here, and in today's video, we'll take a look at some of the new features Apple added in the Final Cut Pro 10.4.4 update. A few days ago, Apple released a version 10.4.4 update for Final Cut Pro. This is considered an incremental update, but there was a lot of new and exciting features added. And in this video, I'll give you a brief overview of some of the major new features added. If you're interested in a more in-depth look at any of these new features, let me know in the comments below. First, and one of the biggest features added is workflow extensions. This allows you to add third-party extensions to Final Cut Pro to speed up your workflow. For example, previously, if I wanted to use Shutterstock footage in one of my projects, I would have to leave Final Cut Pro, go to Shutterstock's website, find and download the video I want for my project, go back to Final Cut Pro and import my downloaded video. With Shutterstock's workflow extension installed, this process becomes much simpler. All I have to do is click the extension button and the Shutterstock extension window opens up right in Final Cut Pro. From here, I can search for stock footage I need, preview the video, and either import a watermarked version to try out, or if I'm sure about the clip, license the video directly from Final Cut Pro. I want to try this video first just to make sure it suits my project, so I'll click the Import Preview button. A new Shutterstock library is created in Final Cut Pro with my preview clip, ready for me to try my project. Much faster and simpler. The next new feature I want to talk about is batch sharing. This has been on my wish list for a long time and is finally available. Final Cut Pro now lets you share multiple projects or clips at the same time. I can now command click multiple clips or projects in the browser, and when I click the share button, as you can see, all my selected clips show up in the share window. I'll select the share settings and click next. Final Cut Pro exports all my selected clips or projects as individual files. This feature can be a huge time saver. Another feature added in the 10.4.4 update is video noise reduction. If you ever film in low light and have to use a higher ISO, you often introduce noise or grain in your footage. Sometimes this can be bad enough to ruin your shot. But now, if you open the effects browser and navigate to the basics category, you'll see a noise reduction plugin. This isn't perfect, but sometimes it can save your footage from being completely unusable to good enough to use in your project. If you color correct or grade clips from multiple cameras, you know how much of a pain it can be to mount shots. Final Cut Pro now makes this much simpler with the comparison viewer. From the menu bar, select Window, Show in Workspace, and Comparison Viewer, or use the keyboard shortcut Control Command 6. This lets you compare clips side by side to make it much easier to match color between different clips. You can select the last frame of your previous clip, the first frame of your next clip, or save a frame from anywhere else in your project or from one of your browser clips to compare to the clip you're editing. The last major addition of Final Cut Pro 10.4.4 is the ability to export captions in SRT format. This is a caption format accepted by most online video sharing platforms, including YouTube, Vimeo, Facebook, and more. So if you have closed captions in your project, you can now export them as an SRT file when exporting your project, which can be easily uploaded to wherever you share your video. Another update to captions in Final Cut Pro is the ability to add always on or open captions to your project. When exporting your video, you now have the ability to burn in your captions. This way, your captions will be always on as subtitles in your video. Alongside the major new features in Final Cut Pro 10.4.4 update, Final Cut Pro adds a number of minor but much welcomed new features. These include a separate timecode window that can display both your project timecode and the source timecodes. You can also now search for a specific font for your titles by typing the first letter of the font name. This is much quicker than scrolling through all the fonts if you have a specific font in mind for your project. And the last, and maybe the funnest new feature added in the latest update, is the comic look effect. You can now make your video look like a comic book by adding the comic look effect from the effects browser. This is more of a novelty feature, but I for one think I'll have a ton of fun with this look. 
There's a ton of new features added in the latest Final Cut Pro update. And for those of you counting, this was the 28th free update released for Final Cut Pro 10. Something to keep in mind if you're considering switching to another editing program where updates cost money. Just saying. Like I said at the start of this video, if you want to learn more about any of these new features, let me know in the comments below and I can make a video about it. Until then, try out some of the new features I talked about and see how they can save you time and improve the quality of your next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here next week.